Okay, we had a, a little problem yesterday getting the presets to uh, getting them to accept new presets. I believe all that we were doing wrong was uh, when we set download, we were just clicking download. And if we do download all, I believe we'll get the startup values to come over. So I made uh, three timers called temp one, two, and three. And so if I go into the tag, that's set for a one second. This one's set for two seconds. And the third one set for three seconds on the presets. So say that I wanted to uh, change just one of these timers. I wanted it, the first one to be, it says one second, I want it to be three seconds. So now if I do uh, change in this, we did this yesterday. If I do three and I do download all, it should change it. Let's see if it does. Completed. If I go online now and look at the power up value, in online it should matter three seconds in time of one now. So it did change it before we were it uh, when we weren't done the download all it was staying at one second. So that's one good piece of information. Then uh, the, the next thing we talked about uh, was it's loading uh, values in there. So I can go to each individual tag and change it like we did in this instance. Can we uh, have it load a new uh, single tag? So this tag I've used over and over is a preset tag. And I haven't tested this yet, so I'm curious to see if it works. So we can see that we want to load the same preset in all of these timer presets. Um, so there's the one that was at one, this one was two, and this one was three. <clears throat> that by download all, it did change it to three. And if we, let's see if we can force this um, to, oops, force it, and let's see if it loads them. So we did force that bit. Uh, so it should load these presets over in all of them. And it looks like this one did. Uh, still, what I have to do, <clears throat> still would, uh, it did load them into there, but I bet you do have to do a download all. Uh, and if we look at the other timers, we should uh, have done them as well. It did load the preset. So there is a, a way of loading a preset. Uh, it's not as simple as just changing the tag. You change the tag and then store it to those. But uh, this would be one, of, one way of doing that. One last piece of information is when I made this uh, tag that I want to use for a timer preset, uh, we have to uh, have it configured correctly. So let's see, timer preset, uh, we'll just open it up and show it to you. Uh, so it has to be uh, inside the integer 32, and when you give it this data type, it opens, it gives you the uh, option out here to set the time format and then put your value in here your power value so when you make that tag uh, and sign the initial 32 in this format for timer format